This week's Ion on MPPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit is TDK. TDK InvenSense. InvenSense was purchased by D D uh, TDK or they merged and so it's both but uh, we'll call it TDK because that's the, uh, the main company name. Um, so this week uh, we actually kind of covered this sensor's part of like the sense bug, a little like sensor bug from TDK like probably like a year or two, a year or so ago. Um, but this week we're going to focus on um, a sensor that just popped in on DigiKey New. It's the ICP. 10111, but there's also the 10101 and 00 and 10. We'll talk about that. This is a barometric pressure and temperature sensor from TDK. Um, so it's great as for use for temperature sensing and um, sense, uh, measuring weather changes. So you know you can tell when you're at a, a low pressure or high pressure system. But what it's mostly used for is as an altimeter. And this sensor would make for a great altimeter because it's got this really nice ultra high precision, uh, high accuracy mode of one uh, pascal, plus or minus one pascal for relative measurements um, when you do the oversampling mode. Um, one pascal is equivalent to about eight centimeters or so, which is great. I mean, comparing this to, you know, from, you know, five, ten years ago, um, the sensors were often only good for about a meter or so of altitude. Um, again, not absolute, but relative. So it can tell how high you're going up, um, but the absolute measurement might have um, different error rates. Uh, still, you know, you're, you're talking about a couple of microamps. Um, it can, you know, go into a, a quite a good deep sleep mode um, and get you, um, you know, high quality altitude measurements that you, uh, barometric pressure measure, barometric pressure measurements that you can then convert into altitude measurements. Um, another thing that I think is neat is um, this sensor actually comes in four packages, basically. Um, so this shows, uh, this is the ICP-000 and ICP-10001. Um, so this is the two millimeter by two millimeter. This is the smallest package. And you'll see the one on the right. You see how there's like a hole at the top? And the one on the left, it doesn't have a hole. But that's weird, right? Because barometric pressure, you need to have some air in inlet. Um, if you look really closely at the image, you'll see three micro laser holes, like really small dots. These kind of remind me of the holes on like if you have um, a MacBook and there's like the built-in camera, and when the camera's on, there's like a glowing green light that comes um, next to the camera, and those are like micro laser holes. So these holes are so small that um, it can allow air in to do barometric pressure measurements and temperature, but it's waterproof down to like a couple meters. So, you know, yes, you could put a gasket on it and on the one on the left and use it exposed to water, but also just means it's more durable. Like you're not going to have the issue of, of possible water ingress or, um, you know, maybe uh, water, uh, you know, if, if you're moving from a high humidity to a low humidity area um, or the other way around, you get, uh, you know, dew forming on the sensor and, and possibly moving into it. Um, I like that there's two options. I think the one on the right probably will have a bit better accuracy because it's less likely to get dust stuck in it. But the one on the left, um, yeah, it's, it's IPX8 rated, which is, which is really good for a sensor that does barometric pressure sensing, but it doesn't seem to have a gel. Um, so, you know, what would you use this for? Um, you know, the TDK is really promoting this for um, mixed use with a GPS sensor. You use a GPS sensor to give you your altitude, sorry, your latitude and longitude. And then GPS does do altitude as well. But remember, GPS is only good to like plus or minus, you know, five to 10 meters. Um, you're not going to be able to get, uh, you know, very precise step-by-step -step altitude measurements. And of course, indoors, it's going to be even harder to get a good GPS fix. You may not be able to get a 3D fix, maybe get a 2D fix, um, in which case you could use a barometric pressure sensor, which of course works all the time, indoors, wherever, underwater, um, and uses a lot less power than GPS as well. Um, so here's a, another interesting thing about this, which I kind of like, because uh, you know we, we carry a bunch of uh, barometric pressure sensors. Of course, the most popular, the BMP series. We also have the DPS uh, series. And I like that people are sort of settling on a packaging pinout. So this package is the two millimeter by 2.5 millimeter. And if you're like, hey, that looks familiar. Yes, it is DPS 310 and BMP 280 pin compatible for I squared C usage. It's not compatible for SPI, it doesn't support SPI. But if you're using I squared C, which a lot of people are, this is physically and pin compatible. Um, so 
if you're one of the people like me who you cannot get some of these sensors, like there's, they're out of stock because of the silicon shortage, you might be able to swap in this sensor. It's in stock right now at DigiKey. Um, and with a little bit of code change, adapt uh -huh. your design to use the ICP100XX series. Okay. So um, it's in stock for now. Quick, go. <laughs> it's in stock. No, but they have a couple thousand in stock. Right. Um, and then this is the two by two millimeter one. This is, I, I didn't solder this, so I'm not 100% sure, so you know, double check me, but I believe it's, it's pin and physical compatibility with the BMP3 series. Again, I squared C only, but I really like it when there's, you know, there's some sensors I like, but you don't want to not be able to ship your product because of, or you don't need to respin your board design because one part's out of stock. That, that, you know, you, that happens, but now it's like, it's happening constantly. Um, so this was, I think, really good timing for this sensor to be released. Another cool thing, the data sheet has example code in C and in Python, which is like mm. so cool. Not, you know, yes, it's nice to have a driver. What's even better, if the driver is so short, you can fit it into the data sheet in two or three pages. And this is the C code. So I, I cut it off. It's much longer, but mm. it's in the data sheet. So mm. um, I thought that was quite cute. And here you can see, at least at the time of this writing, um, thousands in stock of each version, the two by 2.5 versions at the top and the two by two versions at the bottom. Again, one is IPX8, one is not, you know, pick and choose whichever you need. Um, but the one that you're most likely to use, the ICP1011, in stock right now, um, I'm even working on a library for it, but the code is quite simple compared to most, you know, most barometric pressure sensors. They give you, again, the example code in Python and C, and you can really hit the ground running. So this is a, a, also, it's a very high precision sensor. If you have a design with other barometric pressure sensors, maybe you could upgrade it, get that one Pascal uh, accuracy for differential measurements. Available on DigiKey, this is the code. Um, if you want to just type in numbers, 4281145, 2ND, and there's lots of different ones, comes on reels and all that. And then there's a short URL there. And we have a, a, a short video. Do you want to show yeah, I'll just the show device, this. or do you want to do the video first? Let's just show the device real fast. We go to the video, and then we'll be out. OK, so this shows you. See, this is the version you can see this has a little hole in it. And this one, again, you can't see the hole because they're so freaking small. They're like, hold on, don't run away from me. Yeah, I mean, you can Those barely see. There, there are micro holes in it, but so small. And that's what lets it be um, waterproof to you yeah. know, IPX8. And then I soldered this onto uh, my BMP280 breakout, and it worked fine. So um, yeah, this is a nice little sensor. I like one Pascal. I like I squared C. I like the simplicity. And I like that it's in stock. All right, and we're going to play this uh, short video from TDK. Pressure sensors are used in wearables, smartphones, drones, and many other devices to track changes in elevation for activity monitoring, indoor or 3D navigation, and other motion or position-based services. TDK's InventSense barometric pressure sensors use a capacitive MEMS architecture that directly converts deflection of the sensor diaphragm to an electrical signal and offers better accuracy and lower power consumption than piezo-resistive pressure sensors, providing users with more reliable data and extended battery life. The InventSense ICP-10101 and ICP-10111 pressure sensors have a plus or minus one Pascal relative accuracy and come in two by two millimeters small LGA packages. This high relative accuracy enables the measurement of altitude differentials as low as eight centimeters, allowing the detection of individual stair steps and small vertical device movements. Available on DigiKey. That's right. right. It was in stock as of today, so you need a yeah. sensor, Go get them. That's on MPI. Hi on MPI.